The theme of the book of Nehemiah is Jesus rebuilds and restores. And in Nehemiah chapter 2, we see the beginning of the rebuilding and the restoration of the wall around the city of Jerusalem. Nehemiah is the king's cupbearer, and by God's sovereign hand, he's given the king's favor and covering to go back to Jerusalem and oversee the rebuilding. In verse 11, Nehemiah arrives in Jerusalem, and he begins to survey the remains of this once great city. He does this in secret by night, but announces his plans to the Jews and the priests and the nobles and the officials in verse 17. Then I said to them, you see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lies in waste and its gates are burned with fire. Come and let us build the wall of Jerusalem that we may no longer be a reproach. And I told them of the hand of my God, which had been good upon me, and also of the king's word that he had spoken to me. So they said, let us rise up and build. Then they set their hands to this good work. But here's the thing. The good work that Nehemiah speaks of began with God laying it on the heart of one man, Nehemiah. He's God's champion, if you will the one who goes and represents the will of God to his people. So here's the question for you and I today. What good work does God have for us to be the champion of? See, many times God does his work through stirring up men and women who, although unqualified and untrained, are available and faithful to respond to his call. That's what made Nehemiah a champion. Not that he was the king's cupbearer, even though that was a pretty good gig, but that he was willing and available to do what God asked him to do, even though it seemed way beyond his capability. Do you want to be God's champion today? I do. So let's ask the Lord what he wants us to do for him. Let's set our agenda aside and like Nehemiah, be a champion of the Lord Most High.